Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. I'm Zinsomniac, and it is currently 1.14 a.m. in the morning, and I am not playing The Sims 4. At least not yet. We need to talk. I'm not mad. I'm just disappointed. You knew better than this. And yes, I'm talking to The Sims 4 base game townies. So today, guys, we are going to be giving all of the base game townies that come shipped in The Sims 4 makeovers. Now, we've dabbled a little bit with the townies. <laughs> nope, nope. <laughs> that sounds wrong. <laughs> nope. Cut the cameras. Dead ass. So today, we're going to be looking at the rest of the townies and we're going to be giving them makeovers. I say we're going to be giving them makeovers but I already did it. Because Creative Sim, I'm very meticulous. I have a really hard time making decisions. I'm a Libra. I can't make decisions to save my life. It's just not me. So Creative Sim takes me a really long time because I have to get things just right. Okay, I know I've talked a lot about the base game in the last couple of videos, and I've maybe talked some smack about the base game, but I really don't feel like anything I've said has been all that harsh. This girl is the nastiest skank bitch I've ever met. The Sims 4 base game townies need help. So, just like Tyra Banks in America's Next Top Model, I forced all of my Sims into makeovers that they neither asked for nor wanted. Much also like Tyra Banks, I plan to subject my Sims to psychological torture that they may or may not ever recover from. So, as you can see with the base game Bella, for whatever reason, they decided to give her the most obnoxious blush in the game. It looks like she put on her makeup in the dark. They did her dirty. That's what all I'm gonna say. They did her dirty. I mean, I got whiplash from that haircut to that hair. I mean, that is not even the same hairline, Sims team. You don't switch where your hairline is. I can't lie and say I don't love that red dress. I love the red dress. It's iconic. I mean, she's serving a look and she knows it. So let's not waste any more time. So, as you can see, I took away those tights. I took away the gaudy jewelry. I took away the hairstyle that was doing no favors for no one. We're supposed to believe that the goths are, well, goths. And so I didn't really feel like that that makeup that she was wearing first really did her any justice. So I really wanted her to have a dark and kind of mysterious old Hollywood glamour and not look like she had just been hit on either side of the face with a dodgeball. When she goes to the club, she wears the same outfit, but she's styled a little better. I don't know why I'm talking like I know what people wear to the club because the only club I know anything about is Club Penguin. Moving on. This is Mortimer Goth in the base game. This is Bella's husband. Honestly, it takes a lot for a mustache to do anything for me, and in this case, it's only giving me the ick. And he's got this hairstyle that sticks straight up to Jesus. I'm not exactly sure why. His looks are pretty... Only straight I am a straight up bitch. This is a case for the FBI. Let's see the new and improved Mortimer Goth. Cleaned him up a bit. I was feeling a goatee moment for Mortimer, you know? Give him, he's already halfway there. Why not just give him the full chin, you know? Comb that hair down, honey. You don't need to be looking like you just got out of bed. So Cassandra Goth, this is how she comes in the base game. And I'm just gonna say Cassandra Goth makes absolutely no sense to me because she's allegedly, it's my favorite word, allegedly makes everything sound 10 times more interesting. She is allegedly a teenager, yet she wears pigtails like she is a child. What's the truth, Cassandra? What are you hiding? I didn't do anything! So, here's my new and improved Cassandra. I got rid of those knee socks because honestly, I also darkened her skin tone to reflect the change in Bella's skin tone because although Mortimer is like a ghost, Bella's got darker skin, so I wanted Cassie and Alexander to both have more of a mixed skin tone because not everything needs to be white. Again, keep her in blacks, keep her in purples, keep her in dark colors, and kind of that, you know, schoolgirl vibe, but I felt like something about the socks just gave it a weird fetish vibe. 
No. That's over. It's canceled. We're moving on. With the children of the base game, there aren't that many, but with the children, I'm really not going to spend too much time on because honestly, children all kind of look the exact same in The Sims. Here's his makeover. The most drastic thing I did to Alexander was give him a skin tone that rather reflected his heritage. I know a lot of people have a lot of strong feelings about Bob Pancakes and Elijah Pancakes, and honestly, I don't think of them at all. It's the first time I loaded up The Sims 4. I deleted every single townie in the save, and I didn't even spend any time getting to know them because I wanted a completely personalized save file. Let me go ahead and show you the new and improved Bob. Like most straight men his age, Bob is wearing cargo shorts. Bob doesn't really know what he's doing in his life, and I wanted his fashion to really reflect something that's a little lazier, something that says, hey, I got this on clearance, which, you, you know, there's nothing wrong with that. I maintain Bob's full beard because men love to hide behind a beard. Now I know it's The Sims. And I know it's kind of all in a fantastical reality and The Sims is goofy and all that. But some last names like Landgrab or Goth, they work in a way that Pancakes to me just does not. Because Pancakes takes me right out of the realism and just screams lazy to me. I know that's a hot take. It's just the tea. So here's what I'm gonna do. Bob Hannah Baker. Now you might be asking, is this inspired by a certain iconic actress who was in the Oscar should have been movie Sky High? Yes, Danielle Panabaker was amazing in her role as Layla. Layla was a gay icon. All right, moving on to Eliza. Now, I think for me, honestly, the clothes that Eliza's wearing, except for like that medical alert bracelet, are really pretty fine because they're pretty accurate of what somebody in real life might wear. It's really the hairstyle that bothers me most because this hairstyle, for no good reason, makes her head look about 10 times bigger than it actually is. <gasps> wow! She's still awful. You still hate her. She's still gonna call the cops on you when you have a party too late at night, but she's gonna look flawless while doing so. Someone who's supposedly so bougie like Elijah, who? So she would have a haircut that she got cut regularly, got styled regularly. She's bougie and you cannot convince me otherwise, so Miss Eliza would definitely have a better hairdo. While this version of the pancakes over here is the base game version, in my new save file that I'm playing in, I actually downloaded the Maxis version because in the Maxis version you get Iggy, which is their cute kid. Much like kids in this game, toddlers really don't look any different from each other. That's my opinion! Okay, next we're moving on to the BFF household, which is kind of a suspicious situation because it's this one straight man living with two women. I know that their biography says some cheeky, you know, oh, both girls have a thing for Travis Scott or whatever. In my head, the girls are a couple and Travis is their GBF, you know? I don't know what it is about the Sims team that when they designed these sims, they made them all look like bowling pins. Their heads are super thin, super small, and then their bodies are weird and misshapen, and they're just not proportionate. And so much of this makeover, you know, so much of these makeovers was just me clicking and dragging out the heads and making them proportionate to the bodies, I feel like. Now, the other punishable by death offense that Travis has made is this horrific, horrendous, horrible hair color. I have never once seen this hair color in real life, and as a blonde person, I find it incredibly offensive. Say hello to the new Travis. Yeah? So what I wanted to do was give Travis, you know, a makeover that makes him look like he does spend every single night on Reddit. And you know what? Good for him. No judgment. No stones. Nothing from me. This is probably one of the most offensive outfits in the base game, and it's just because it is screaming at me. No. 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 I, I will not. There's so much happening at me right now that I just needed to stop. And we go from pigtails to Elastigirl getting electrocuted. 
What's what's the reason? The other thing that I just have against the Sims 4 base game, and I know a lot of people comment on this, but the hat situation. Are you trying to cover up the fact that you committed a murder? I mean, what is so big that you're covering it up with this? Once again, here is this offensive, I'm not even gonna look at it, outfit. And you have no style or sense of fashion. I think that depends on what you're- No, no. That wasn't a question. One last time. And here's the new Liberty. <sighs> She's sleek. She's chic. It might be because I just saw the Batman and Zoe Kravitz owns my life. But it might also be because of that electro fried poof pompadour haircut. But something about Liberty just made me want to cut all her hair off, you know. To me, Summer Holiday, that name was very befitting of somebody who was like, Mwah! Not so much someone like Liberty Lee. Liberty Lee just seemed cool and seemed like she had it all together. Whereas Summer Holiday was probably sleeping with your boyfriend behind your back. I take everything back I said at that Liberty Lee. Summer Holiday might just be the most offensive base game town because honestly, what is that? I mean, just one more dramatic zoom. What is that? Why is her head so small? Why are her eyes so big? Why does she have that makeup on? Why does she have a Jessie the Cowgirl fishtail braid? <laughs> They're just all bad. They're all bad. So I simply cannot be bothered to go through the rest of her outfits. I just want to speed ahead and show you my new and improved summer. Isn't that a breath of fresh air? Now, the biggest change, as you can see, besides her, you know, face, is her hair color. Travis already had to take her hair color, so I really wanted like a bleach blonde moment because I feel like someone named Summer Holiday shouldn't actually be blonde naturally. I feel like that person definitely changed their name and definitely made their hair blonde on purpose to fool people into thinking, oh yeah, I was named Summer and I have blonde hair and it's just so amazing and great. I know that I shouldn't project like my real world bias onto this pixel, but something about her just makes me not like her. That being said, I can still put my personal feelings aside and style the hell out of a sim. I sure do have a lot of confidence for someone who wore a cookie monster face graphic tee almost every single day in the seventh grade. Yeah. So next we are going into the Caliente and Lothario household. Now I'm not gonna spend too much time talking about the injustice that is the Caliente sisters on The Sims 4 because many a YouTuber have already done it and I've already touched on it in some of my other videos. But let me just say, Nina, Dina, honeys, you were robbed. Here's Dina, you've seen her before, you've looked away. If you've seen my previous video, this has kind of already been spoiled for you, but here is a new and improved Dina. I'm so proud of her. She's got darker skin tone, she's got better hair, she's got better clothes. Even worse than Dina is Nina. Nina Caliente was quite possibly, I know I keep saying this is the most offensive sin, but honestly, do I look like a Muppet? How did we arrive here, Sims team? How did we arrive here? What was, what was the process? Who hurt you? Hate, 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 hate. Double hate. Loathe entirely. Here's Nina now. Hmm. Nina is a has a drastic improvement. Nina also has a pretty monochromatic look. So here we are, this offensively straight version of Dawn. Every part of this wardrobe wants to talk to you about Bitcoin. And here's my new and improved Dawn. So as you can see, I didn't just make changes to his outfit, I also made changes to everything. Don was kind of a victim of the small head, huge eyes problem, so I just gave him a whole new look. He knows he's a bit of a hoe, so when he goes out running, he definitely only wears those short shorts. I mean, when he's in the hot weather, he does have a little bit of a straight moment where he goes back to the cargo shorts, but you know what? I love him, my love for him is true, and true love can break any curse. All right, now we're talking about the family that everyone loves to hate, which are the land grabs. I did, for ease of access, add Johnny Zest 
back to the land grab family. His head is the size of Texas on shoulders that are the size of like Ohio. I mean, it just doesn't make any sense. I mean, the style, the Maxis match style doesn't bother me. I actually prefer it to, uh, you know, Max, no, no. That was the Lord's way of saying, shut up and just get to the makeover. Don't drag me into this, I'm pitching tomorrow. Creatism makes me tired, quite honestly. I feel like God on the seventh day of creation where he just wanted to rest. <laughs> oh, there is a bug on my screen. <gasps> Gone. <gasps> I say one thing about the Bible and all of a sudden we have a plague. A secret agent back in the day, maybe? Not a secret agent now. And so to spice up the dynamic he has with Nancy, which is like the secret agent who's like hot on the case of the secret villain who's like actually his wife and they don't know it. It's like this Mr. and Mrs. Smith thing. Never seen the movie, quite honestly. Wait a minute! Did I create myself? Just for the sake of... I may actually be role-playing as Jeffrey Landgrab and everything I've known about myself is a lie. Nancy Landgrab is perhaps one of the most hated characters in the entire Sims franchise. You know, she will kill your family and she won't feel remorse about it. She's a sociopath. I really wanted to give her a look that screamed, I'm a psycho. So really, I had to make her into the ultimate Karen. I mean, look at that haircut. That haircut wants to take away your rights. I am very much for the equality of all and the freedom of all. And whatever she wants to do, I am against. So last but least, Malcolm Landgrab, which again is for some reason made to look like a French fry in the base game. Here's the new Malcolm Landgrab. You might notice, wow, he's super cut, he's super buff. Why do all of your men have all these muscles? Do you just have a thing about muscles? Well, well. <laughs> Next question. <laughs> See ya. This family lives in that really bougie house on the edge of Willow Creek, and to me, they just did not give off bougie vibes with their clothes. But Eric is probably the least expressive of the bunch. He's got some of the same clothes, they just match a little more, and they're a little more put together. Oh god, I'm getting a sneeze coming on, I'm getting a sneeze coming on, oh god, I'm gonna... <sighs> mm, what a tease. Okay, anyway. So here we are at our last family, which is the Roomies family, which is another family that I admittedly don't have a lot of exposure to. I changed up their looks, not just the way they dress, but also some of their physical looks because I really wanted them to be distinct and I wanted them to stand out. And I feel like there was a lot more that could be done with this family. And I wanted them to be four very different people. So here's Zoe in the base game. She's wearing a pair of tights that is in a toxic relationship with that dress she's also wearing. This is the new Zoe. I made her a little curvier because I feel like there was a lot of really thin Sims in the base game. And so I wanted some curves with Mitchell. Mitchell's described as being laid back and easygoing. And this is one of my least favorite hairstyles in the game because it just I don't know what it is about it it just defies gravity maybe he's kind of a fun you know laid-back guy so I wanted to give him a fun laid-back style the most effort he puts anything into is probably his hair here's Jay Huntington the third and he's like described as like an uptight ladies man and I just was not feeling that vibe like the sweater around the shirt, I just, I, I didn't want like another hoity-toity rich person in the game because hoity-toity rich people, <laughs> I went for something completely different with Jay Huntington, gave him a complete makeover. 
So here's Jay Huntington in the base game. And here's the new and improved Jay Huntington. Country boy, I love you. Okay, listen, I don't know why, I don't know why I made him a cowboy. I don't know why. I think it was just because something about that name, Jay Huntington III, sounded to me like some kind of cowboy. Do I have kind of a cowboy fantasy? I do not want to comment. <laughs> there's cowboy boots and cowboy hats in the game, and there's not one sim in the base game who looks like a cowboy, so someone had to do it. So, next. Okay, so I saved the sim that I am perhaps the most proud of for the absolute last because it's Gavin Richards. And before I get into his transformation, one of the things that I really want to get into is the fact of why I did this makeover. And it's because the base game has no trans representation. And I know that The Sims has made great strides to have representation in the game. And they have since then townies created and later packs but I still feel like there need to be some in the base game that are just there when you load up because trans is beautiful and trans people are just like everyone else and I feel like they should be included in the game for anyone who just starts it up without any packs. I think Gavin looks awesome. I think he's great. I think he looks a lot better. I just feel like this is something that we haven't really explored in the base game and I would like to see it added, honestly. After the events that Dina Caliente put me through in my last video, I wanted to move my sim into this house with these sims because Dina has tainted that base game house I created. <sighs> Alright guys, that's gonna do it for me for now. And I hope you really like this video. It's a different kind of content. I'm still trying to figure out what kind of content I like to do best. Uh, with Create a Sim and Build and Buy, I'm a little more self-conscious just because it puts a lot more pressure on just me and what I'm saying as opposed to watching the game. And so once again, I hope you like it. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Go ahead and like this video, subscribe, and I hope to see you guys in the next video. But for now, it is really late and I've been filming a really long time, so I'm going to shut up and go to bed. <laughs>